Hey guys, welcome to Mind Your Maths. So in this video, I'm going to start uh, a new series called um, Easy Problem Solving Strategies or Concepts, right? So this can be applied to um, any maths, any problems from primary one to primary six, even beyond that, right? So, um, so in the series, today we are going to learn uh, a strategy or a concept called repeated reference or repeated identity concept, right? Now, what do I mean by that is that an object or a person or something that will repeatedly come in a problem. So then if you find something like that, then you can just uh, decide that this is actually based on the repeated uh, identity concept or repeated reference concept. So now you don't worry too much about this uh, name. Uh, let's just solve this problem then you will understand uh, more about what I'm talking about yeah so let's go all right so let me read the problem now Alice had four over nine as many marbles as Elisha and half as many marbles as Mary if they had a total of 189 marbles altogether how many marbles did Alice have right so now in this problem the, the the numbers are given in fractions you might also get in ratios or percentages right so you just need to convert that into a fraction number then you will be able to use these steps right to be to be able to solve this 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 problem that comes with the repeated identity yeah so now let's see how to solve the problem so in the problem you have three people right one is Alice another one is Elisha and another one is Mary right in the first comparison it is given Alice had four over nine as many marbles as Elisha which means four over nine right so the four refers to Alice and the nine refers to Elisha right okay so now Alice again is compared with Mary right which says that half of what Mary has is what Alice has right in other words Alice has half as many as marbles as Mary which means half right so this one the one again is for Alice and this two is for Mary right you get it so this is what is given in the problem now what we need to find is that I mean they have given total of 189 marbles they all of them three of them together they have right and the question is how much Alice has out of this white uh, 189 how many marbles Alice had or have right anything right so now let's let's uh, use this can be solved using uh, model method as well as units method as well right so I'll cover both of them here let's first start with the model method so let's just um, draw the model for the first fraction that is given right so now in the first fraction Alice has right four out of nine so which is Elisha so Elisha has nine 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 units yeah nine units so we say one two three four five six seven eight and nine right so now in this Alice has four four as many as what Elisha has right okay so now you see here whatever Mary has in that half of it was Alice have which means which means Mary had twice as many as what Alice has right okay so now if we just if we just use I mean for, for Mary it will be double of what Alice has right so we are always taking the smallest unit for the comparison the smallest size for the comparison 
because that is how we will we will be able to find what is the smallest unit first and then then use that for finding out the the actual numbers or the actual units or whatever is that we are supposed to find as per the problem right so now for mary because it is given like half of the like alice has half of what mary has which means mary has two times that of what alice have right so which means what alice have is four units so let's put that four units here one two three four right now there is a one unit of alice so mary has twice as much as much as alice have so it will be how many yes eight units right right eight units that mary has now you see all of them together 189 right so now if we need to know one unit then the 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 the, the value for one unit what do we do yes we need to first count how many units all of them together have yeah then divide that divide that divide the 189 189 by the total number of units so now count how many units all the three of them have here 8 plus 9 which is 17 plus 4 21 yes so 21 unit is equal to 189 now one unit is equal to 189 over 21 divided by 21 right so now if you simplify this one right 189 21 right you can even slash it and then simplify it that way as well but i will use this one because this one everyone knows when you slash it it is easy right so 21 so for 21 actually so there is there's no 21 even you take two digits so you have to actually take all the three digits now the easiest way is that the closest one the complete number we need to just assume right so 10 times 210 uh, 21 is 210 right so this one 210 is actually a little more than this one so let's just subtract 121 here so this one becomes 9 8 and 1 right because this become 10 minus 1 then this become it was originally 0 10 minus 2 is 8 and then here you have 1 so 189 well oh, you got the answer actually so 21 right so which means how many times 10 my 10 times 21 is this one and we just subtracted uh, just 21 from it so we got the 189 here so it is 9 times 10 minus 1 is 9 so 9 times 21 is 189 so the remainder is 0 right okay so now for one unit you got 9 right you got 9 now what we need to find how much Alice has right Alice had so if you see here Alice had four units four units right so in in this case then what we need to do yes we just need to multiply the nine with four right so Alice had four times nine how much is it yes exactly 36 right so 36 is what Alice had so Alice had or Alice has so that is the answer right so that is the answer so this is how we solve this problem using the model method so now let's use units method yeah so for the units method we again rewrite this one instead of diagram we are going to use units right so Alice as per the first fraction Alice had how many units four units and Alicia had how many units nine units right and in the second fraction Alice had one unit and Mary had two units right but it is given that this one equals to this one right so these two are equal in size or in the value that's what is given in the problem right 
this is equivalent to this one which means right this four unit is equivalent to this one unit right so this one is obviously it's like it's like one apple is there that is cut into four pieces so another apple you have which is the whole thing right the full apple you have so which means the four pieces together also forms one apple and another apple which is not cut it's still one apple right but what we need to do is because one apple is cut into four pieces what we do this apple also we should consider cut into four pieces which means we have to cut it right so in other words in the units what we do is we make this one also to become same as this one four units right so to make it four units what we need to do yes we need to multiply by four because this is one so multiply by four and because in any fraction you multiply the upper value or the bottom value with any number you have to use the same number to multiply the other side as well which means you have to multiply this as well with the four yeah so then this becomes four unit and this becomes eight unit you got it so far yes okay now how many total units we have it is Alice plus Elisha plus Mary that's what is equal to 189 as for the problem right now how much how many units Alice have four units four units how many units Elisha has nine unit plus how many units Mary has it's eight units right eight units equals to 189 now we need to find what is one unit then only we can find what is what is the now what is the number of marbles that Alice have right so now 4 plus 9 is how much 13 13 plus 8 is 21 so 21 unit is equal to 189 now we need to find one unit one unit is equal to 189 divided by 21 so here I will use a slash because earlier I showed you how to divide using the the usual way so here first let's start with the the, the smallest uh, you know the uh, prime number so I think uh, this one cannot go for 2 cannot be divided by 2 let's take the 3 3 is 7 times uh, 3 is 21 and here 6 times and then 3 times yes it can go for 3 so this one 7 times 3 is how much 21 and then here you have 6 times 3 is 18 and then 3 times uh, 3 is 9 now you see here this 7 can be uh, 63 can be divided by 7 right so 1 times 7 is 7 and in the 63 how much you have 9 times 7 is 63 so now you got 1 unit is equal to 9 right but what we need to actually find is how much Alice have Alice had 4 units of marbles right so Alice had four times what unit one unit is nine so four times nine equals to 36 yes so Alice had 36 marbles right so that is the answer right so again so this is the repeated identity uh, concept guys because Alice is referred in both the places that is why we had to solve the problem using what the, the unit of Alice so that is how we use the repeated concept or repeated reference concept of the strategy to solve the problems right all right guys so that is all so if you like this video please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, in the next uh, upcoming videos I'm going to continue the next concept because there are a number of concepts that we are going to see number of strategies we are going to see to easily solve any kind of problems right all right so that's it for today uh, this video and thanks for watching.